Hi guys. Um, so here is another video about the. Uh, I'm pulling out my clutch. Already did it. It's right here. It looks so far good. Almost everything looks fine. I didn't see any metals stuff, anything like that. Uh, ATF level. So I don't know. I guess the normal levels should be a little bit lower than this. Um, because I overfilled my training transmission fluid. So um, it's right there. I'm not gonna open up. Any, I'm not gonna do any opening inside because uh, I did the service like recently, two or three thousand miles ago. So it's it's brand new fluid and new filters and pretty much everything is new, you know. And um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this way. So I have to just clean up all around and then just press the new clutch in. Um, I'm still waiting for the new clutch. So I guess and for this time, I don't have anything to do with the car. Just maybe small stuff in the engine. Um, uh, oh, totally forgot. I have something to do. So what I would do, I would like to port my supercharged body because I'm going with the turbo setup and uh, plus supercharge. I'm gonna keep the stock pulley because uh, you know I don't wanna uh, you know I don't wanna add any boost on the supercharge. I want to keep stuck just for in case if I'm going to run like 8,000 RPMs or actually I was playing 8,500 RPMs the red line. Just want to go uh, over what did, what did I do to pull that thing out. First thing you got to take the axle on the driver's side. You don't have to do it on the passenger side. I don't know for some reason I thought I have to do it. I never take a look there. The manual through through the whole thing. I mean, uh, never read the manual, so I just you know like I don't know, just gotta open up and see. You know, it's, it's it's not bad. I gotta replace those bolts anyway. The extra bolts they they probably rusty and old. Just for in case if I have to change in the future, I don't mind. You know, to pull them out. So my suggestion: just pray all bolt bolts with a DW four because they all rusted. It's very old. Like you spray on this side and you spray on the big bolt in the front of the axle. And uh, this bracket right here, it's, uh, uh, it's gonna be a little bit uh, pain in to take it out. So what I did, I cut a hole here in the shield. It's like regular shield, you know. You can cut this hole in the bracket and just get to it from this, this side. Just for in case if you have to do something and you have no engine. <laughs> Otherwise, to take that uh, shield, you gotta probably either drop the whole train in or take the mount out. The side uh, uh, inch of frame. And um, yeah, this side, it's pretty straightforward. It's easy to do this side, nothing special. Um, you see, it's all rusted. Another thing, I will check all these bearings right here and see if it's in a good shape. And I will check the, everything inside over there to make sure it's nothing, you know, cracked or broken. Because I heard many people said, this part right here, where's the, the bearing sits, it's uh, wear out pretty bad and it's moving around. So, I mean, I heard many stories. Um, yeah, I would inspect that part right there the whole area make sure there is no wear like crazy wear or um sorry sorry for my english i'm trying to <laughs> try to say that correctly just you know check all around make sure it's nice and tight no cracks same thing with this bearing it looks like you know i have some some plate but it may be maybe fine Maybe fine. You know, I might replace that 
I, I'm gonna take a look online how much it cost and um, see what people think talking about this part you know because my understanding it's lots of stress this bearing when you launch in the car and it's getting bad and then it's play around on a seat place right there and uh, talking about this this right here so make sure it's all good I'm gonna double check one more time uh, later all right so you take the axles uh, you can take just one side this from the right side then the next step uh, will be pulling the flywheel it's really easy you just pull it out and that's it it's there then next step it's going gonna be the the clutch you got the oh, you got five bolts right here so you take them off then you have to unpress it's, it's like slightly press it's not really you know crazy so um how would they be trying to sell the tool and which is cost a lot of money and then other companies make uh, replica for the for this clutch to pull it out uh, I don't I don't want to spend like another three four hundred bucks just for stupid thing to pull it out of the clutch so I came up with this idea right here that's that's all you guys need the the bar metal bar stand uh, steel bar it's like about quarter inch or something let me see uh, oh my god that's what I got I got it from uh, Home Depot, so it's 2 inch by 3 8 and 36 inches. I got it from Home Depot, you know, I just make a hole. Uh, I got this from Home Depot as well. The bolts, it's a uh, 3 8 uh, washer nuts, not sorry, and uh, the bolt itself, it's 3 8 as well. And this. Oh my god, I forgot the name of it. Let me go get it. Um, oh, it's right here. It's a rod pusher or something like that. Let me see. This one actually I got from the uh, outer zone. So it's really cheap. It's right here. Uh, I think I did the picture. So you guys, you can, uh, you know, check in the pictures. Inner inner toy rod tool. That's that's how it's called. So this this part twenty one dollars say twenty two. Okay, that's fine. And all this Home Depot stuff cost me with the actually uh, with the bit. Uh, where is it? Right here. Thirty five dollars. So I mean roughly 60 bucks I spent it on all these parts. <laughs> so it's a big difference. $60 or 300 or 400 bucks for the tool, right? And it's the same thing. There is no any damage on the shaft. I just checked, it's all good. So as long as you tie it well, you should be fine. Um even if you guys don't want to buy it, I can cut this piece, make it smaller, and I can ship it out if anybody needs it, you know, not a problem, just send me back. I don't need any money, you just cover the shipping, that's it. Um, the clutches. I don't want to pull the clutches out because I have to send it back to my guy who sold me the stage 3, Dima Deca. He's the man. Thanks, Dima. Help me with the, he hooked me up with the stage 3 clutch, which is, should hold 1200 Newton meter. Or it's about, uh, I think it's almost 900, 900 uh, feet pound of torque. So, the clutch is out. I'm gonna inspect one more time the, the transmission, make sure it's all good. You know, so far it looks everything perfect. You know, fluid like, you know, so clean. Most likely all the crop is gonna be in the bottom, but when I did the last time service, it was pretty good. So um, I'm not really worried about 
and a couple of people told me you know better to take it out and take the whole assembly out like what is the, the like CPU and all the motherboard all the controls and solenoids check them out but you know I don't feel like I want to do it because this car is still new it's got like 20,000 miles on it only so and I did the service already and I'm just gonna throw the clutches in there and go from there if I feel like something wrong I'm gonna pull everything in the bar I mean, I, I mean it's definitely nothing wrong with it. Um, you guys saw all my videos it's, it's it holds up pretty good <coughs> um, what else uh, I just spoke with the 034 representative his name Nick he hooked me up with the 034 billet engine mounts so that thing is in the way to me I'm very excited to see that and especially in my car it was you know I was struggling which one is to take it either billet one or street or race race ones so um, with the conversation with Nick he told me the the billet one is gonna be perfect for my car and my power so and um, yeah I'm very excited to see that come in so we gotta you know open up the box and do the review and uh, then it's gonna be another review when I start the car and driving around the car and now uh, you know I'll tell you all my feelings about it and, and that's it so yeah like I said right now while I'm waiting the clutch I'm gonna do continue on the supercharge to do the porting I'll probably gonna do a video of that as well just you know put the time lapse and uh, yeah, I mean we we getting there, close, you know, slowly, but we're getting there. I know we have a lot of um, lots of events coming up right now, and I'm missing already a few of them. Uh, I mean, I'm regarding to take, you know, I'm better to take my time and do it right way. So I don't want to, you know, rush my project. Little by little, we will get there. So. Alright, thank you guys for another video. Bye-bye. Another thing, this is uh, Excel from passenger side. Uh, the way it works in here, I guess the wall that this type of the ring. It's a, the ring that's attaching to the tra uh, transmission. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Just wondering if any, anyone have issue with it, got those walls got cracked or something like that. Should I weld it more? or just keep it you know like that doesn't look strong to me you know <laughs> um i mean i don't know i just you know just recently see that and it scares me a little bit because if i launch my car hard hopefully you know that thing excel itself it's pretty strong i can see it. it's pretty fat and I don't think so. Front end will get ever crack. Probably more stress is gonna be in the back, and I think the back one even much thicker than the front ones. Yeah, just please comment on this, uh, Excel. If anyone have issue on the uh, passenger side, don't really like that. All right, guys, thank you.